or a lookalike of Boris the Black and from Adam Snatch. Man, that guy shouldn't be wearing shorts. And that's all I'm going to say for this fight. He shouldn't be wearing shorts of any sort, Muay Thai or otherwise. And cut off sleeves. And cut off sleeves either. He should just be extra large. And look at the corner of Gator is Saeed of Lost. From Bucharest. It is too. Daniel Also in this though, who's the great man in the corner of Daniel Gita? This is our second reserve fight already. Peter Ertz by defeating Gokan Saki has the official reserve fighter status. Also, I want to say a big hello to Strike Force promoter Scott Coker. Scott Coker is backing Semi Schultz here tonight and he's watching live an HD net fights in San Jose. Absolutely. Shout out to Scott. How you doing, buddy? I hope you're enjoying it. Also, big shout out. We are going live to Pro TV in Romania. Big hello to all the Romanians. We will be back in Romania for a K1 Grand Prix show in 2010. The voice, Michael Chavello, Sugar Ray Sefo, and Mike Kogan with you, Daniel Gita and Sergei Karatanov. How will Sergei survive the leg kicks? Of Daniel Gita and can Gita survive the strong hands of Karatano? Inside thigh kick from Gita. Again goes that inside thigh. Gita's leg kicks are just extraordinary. So much power. A man who many tout as a future K1 Grand Prix participant. I would have thought Karatania would have uh, realized that every time he jabs, he's going to eat that leg kick. So throw two or three punches, please. Oh, and how about the inside fly of Karatana? There is an imprint of Gita's foot on the shroud to win on the inside leg of Sergei Karatana. This is a dangerous game plan that Karatana is playing. He's got no answer for the leg kicks here of Gita. And there's still a long way to go in this first round. And that lead leg has just been beaten like a $2 piñata. I know it. It surprises me that they haven't, uh, he hasn't blocked anything. Um, as I was about to say, that he blocks one kick. Good jab outside, fly kick from Gita. And again, that brief leg on the inside is just a kaleidoscope of colors. That is brutal from Daniel Gita. He skips up, just fakes the back leg, then goes to the front leg. I, I think this guy's the first year in the first round. This is going to be over very soon. There is no way Karatanov can continue to take the punishment to his John Beggs. Inside front kick again from Gita. And Gita just measuring every shot. He is a nasty man, Daniel Gita, in the ring. A gentleman outside of it. And again, just pulverizing the legs. Brutalizing. Surely that lead leg has turned to jelly on Karatanov. Gita goes to the upper left rib cage. Karatanov checks that kick, but even to check a Gita leg kick hurts. Does this guy know how to throw two, three punches? Or does he just know how to throw one shot at a time? Boris the Blade is yelling instruction from the corner, but it's not helping Sergei Karatanov. <laughs> Karatanov thrusts a jab. No starch behind it. Ooh, a reach into the carcass, and there's a high knee. Looking for the meet and greet from Daniel Giga. 30 seconds remaining. Tracks that lead leg again. Once more, you can just hear the slap reverberate around the Yokohama Arena where we are sold down 20,000 plus. I want to see Daniel put some, hand, you know, some hands with his legs. Uh, I mean, obviously, he's winning this fight by those leg kicks. Oh, stiff uppercut off the left hand from Karatano. This is more like it from the Russian. And Gita ties him up. We know Gita's got a very strong jaw, he's very durable. He took punishment for three rounds solid from Semi Schilt. He even got dropped by Semi and Sol, but got back up. End of the first round, what can you say? Complete and utter ownership, Mike Kogan, by Daniel Gita. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think at this point, what most of the fans are wondering is how long can Karitano's leg take this? How many more rounds are we going to see this? There's no doubt in anybody's mind that Haritano is not coming back to win this fight at all. I mean, as Ray said, not only is he not throwing any jab, any combinations, he's not really throwing anything. He's just kind of doing that liver shot. I don't know if he's trying to... Well, it took him two and two minutes and 50 seconds to actually put three, four punches together. 
Right, and I don't know if that's their strategy, like take leg kicks for, for three, you know, two minutes and 50 seconds, and when a 10 second bell rings, just go all, you know, I don't, I don't really know, but. We are ready to rock and roll, second round of three, all one way traffic, all Daniel Geeter in the first. The powerhouse from Bucharest. Just going to town on that lead leg of Sergei Karatanov. Karatanov goes to the body and Gita goes back to the inside lead fight. Then goes to the knee. Left hook from Karatanov. He's got a bit more pepper about him now, the Russian. And Gita says, Here's my hand. Gita can't afford to go against the ropes here. Eats an uppercut. Kicks the legs again. Karatanov looks to be ripe for the picking here. I'm just scared a head kick is going to come any minute. From the lead leg, Ray is dropping his right hand very low, Karatano. Right. And every time he throws a shot, he's dropping the other hand down. <laughs> there it is. He heard us. Oh, Ray on the money hey. here tonight. Like hey. well, I said, I'm sure my, there's a mic in there. <laughs> we are sitting only about 10 feet away from the <laughs> ring. Thumping right hand. Uppercut from Karatano. But they're just arm punches from Karatanov. Not really talking the hips, not really turning the knuckles through on these ones. Big uppercut, takes a kick to the back leg. He momentarily switched stance to southpaw to try and protect that left leg. But it's just getting absolutely demonized now. Still one minute and 45 seconds remaining for Gita to take out the legs. He's not going to be walking tomorrow. He's not going to be walking tomorrow, but he's still in this fight today. I mean, not as far as offensive, but he's still standing. I don't know what kind of trick trunks. My goodness. Gita edges forward. Double forearms guard. Big uppercut rocks the head back of the Romanian. He goes back to where he should. Shopping the legs. You don't want to stand and trade with Garazano. Ooh, that uppercut went so high, I heard organs play. And another one from Caritano. Gita's got to get out of there. He's got to go back to the legs, brother, right? Absolutely. I mean, he shouldn't be standing there waiting to get hit. I mean, he should use that jab, fire those low kicks. And occasionally... Oh, he went know. for a single leg there, Mike. He went <laughs> he for did, a single leg. <laughs> for a second, I thought it was going to be a takedown. He said, butter, dude. Why can't I do it? <laughs> Karatanov reverting to his mixed martial arts. But then he's a throw a right hand left hook after that low kick. Oh, forget it. Where's forget the it. How is Karatanov still standing? Where's the hair kick? Where's the hair kick? Hey. Oh, again, he takes him down with a single leg. <laughs> Keith is going, this is not mixed martial arts. And the referee quite hey. rightly warns him. Hey. Referee's like, what do I warn him for? <laughs> God, illegal leg grabbing. Of low course, kick, low kick, when they kick. lean in for a single leg like that, it's always a sign that the mixed martial artist is hurt. There goes the head kick. He looked for the headache maker, but he cut it tighter. Look towards us as he got up and gave a little wink there, Daniel Peter. Just saying, oh no, I've got him. I'm just going to torture him a little more. You're an evil man, Daniel Peter. As he says, you know, <laughs> as he looks at it, he goes, Mike, you remember I kicked you yesterday? <laughs> yes, that youtube.com slash k1 video check him out online on the official k1 youtube channel also folks don't forget k1 is now on twitter follow k1 on twitter while you're on there you can add me as well chevello voice is the handle and you can add both myself ray Sefo, and mike kogan on facebook we keep you up to date with all of our k1 broadcasts worldwide big uppercut from garitano yeah, and a big shout out to all, all my friends on Facebook. You guys are great. Ten nine, say all three judges the way of Daniel Gita. You can sign the pink slips. You can sign the ownership papers because Gita has just owned the legs of Caritano. I don't have a Facebook, and please don't add me for the record. That, that's an imposter, right? Following Michael Chavello and Brother Ray is going to be plenty. You're going to get all the information <laughs> and updates on nearly constant basis. <laughs> K1official.com, the official K1 website. Here we go, third and final. And Gita finish it now. Ooh, it goes up to the left rib cage. Short hook on the Russian. Look how low the head is. It's like he's inviting a head kick here, Karatano. I'm just so afraid for him. What does Gita want? A written invitation? <laughs> Big outside leg kick. He turns his back and down he goes. He's not going to get up. Forget it. Don't even count. Nice and good. Nine, 
10. Good night, Irene. We told you. No! Daniel Guita always was going to take out the legs. It was just predictable. Well, it was, but mad, mad props to Horitano. I mean, great. Devastating. I don't know how many. Uh, 300 leg kicks around for, for two rounds, and the guy was there. I mean, well, he took 50 leg kicks and then blocked one, and then he took another 50 and then blocked another, you know. Right, uh, and I mean, you know, I don't think anybody really expected him to win, but I think he just shows leaps and bounds about his heart and, and, and you know and the punishment he's able to endure um outside of that i really have no idea why he was in this ring fighting at all i was surprised he actually la lasted as long as he did i mean like you know you gotta give him props and the other thing is i you know what i wanted to see from daniel after, after that first round because he dominated so well i wanted to see him put some hand combinations together and make it exciting. We just go back to something we talked about earlier this morning, and you saying, you know, Daniel really hasn't been tested, and I think this was an opportunity for him to just put on a K-1 clinic, and he didn't. Right. And a testament to how heavy those leg kicks were, Sergei Karatanov still on the canvas, and I believe he is going to be stretched out of center ring here. He God, cannot I hope so. get up. I mean, my God, I hope so. There it is, he's on the stretcher, they're strapping him in, and Karatanov in a world of hurt. My word, he will not be walking tomorrow. He will not be walking for a couple of weeks, right? Oh, absolutely. It'll be, uh, he better not be flying tomorrow either. I was just getting ready to say, he's not going to be walking, he's not going to be flying, <laughs> he, he's not going to be doing anything. <laughs> and it is goodbye, Sergei Karatanov. That's how they do it in K1. That's how Daniel Keita does it in every fight. The leg kicks of doom. Folks, our semi-finals are about to happen for the Fields K1 World Grand Prix. We have two blockbusters. We have two marquee matchups. They are the semi-finals that every fight fan wanted to see. And now they are uh, happening. Brother Ray, I cannot wait, first of all. But a hurry, Alistair over him, then Semi and Remy, the rhyming semi-final. First of all, Butter, Alistair. Butter knocking out Ruslan, 36 seconds. Alistair took one minute and six to stop Teixeira. Both men are fresh, both men intent on beating the living daylights out of each other. The biggest key, and we've talked about this, for Butter is to be patient, be calm, and let his skills do all the work. Now, Ray, although Butter's ego wants to go after Peter Ursa's record, we both believe the better game plan would be trying out point Alistair, take out his legs, move around, tire Alistair out, and play the point scoring game. Well, he's, he's, a, he's a much quicker fighter. He's quicker, he's stronger. Well, actually, he, you know, when you say strength, I mean, he's got punchy power. He's got power in his legs. And it's exactly what he has to do, is let his skills do the work. As Daniel Guida makes his way back to the change room, semi-final number two, Semi-Shilt Remy Benjaski 